1970, the Russian physicist Vitaly Yefimov predicted a remarkable effect from quantum mechanics, the emergence of a universal long-range attraction between three particles. Many forces in nature have a short range. For example, the interaction potential between two neutral atoms separated by a distance r decays as 1 over r to the sixth and can bind them only over a few nanometers. The nuclear force between two nucleons decays exponentially and can bind them only over a few femtometers. However, such microscopic particles are constantly agitated by quantum fluctuations, which tend to diffuse them. If their attraction is not strong enough, the diffusion can break the two particles apart. In some cases, their attraction can be just enough to compensate this diffusion in such a way that the two particles remain bound together, but over large distances, much larger than the range of their interaction. Such interaction is said to be resonant. Vitaly Yefimov considered the case of three particles in this situation. Solving the Schrodinger equation, he found that an effective long-range three-body attraction appears. This potential decays as 1 over r squared, where r is the average distance between the three particles and is universally determined by the mass of the particles. Intuitively, this long-range attraction may be understood as an interaction between two particles, mediated by a third particle. Since the motion of the particle is so delocalized, this mediated interaction has a long range, despite the microscopic interaction having a short range. The fact that the Yefimov attraction decays as 1 over r squared not only gives a long range, but also makes the system scale invariant. If the three particles are bound by the Yefimov attraction, they can be excited to another state, which is 22.7 times larger, and to another one, which is 22.7 squared times larger, and so on. Originally, Yefimov proposed that this three-body attraction could explain the nucleus of tritium, a bound state of two neutrons and one proton, as well as the Hoy state of carbon-12, regarded as a bound state of three helium nuclei. However, this interpretation could not be clearly verified, because the condition that the interaction be resonant is only approximately satisfied in these systems. In fact, the resonance condition is so rare that for many years, the Yefimov effect was thought to be almost impossible to observe. However, from around the year 2000, it has been possible to realize resonant interactions between cold atoms by applying a magnetic field. Experimentalists gradually obtained evidence that three atoms under these conditions can bind according to the Yefimov prediction. In particular, they eventually confirmed that a more excited bound state is larger than the previous one by the universal scaling factor 22.7 predicted by Yefimov. These experimental confirmations triggered a renewed interest in the Yefimov effect. Theoreticians have studied the consequences and the generalizations of the Yefimov effect in systems of three, four, and more particles. All these phenomena are now referred to as Yefimov physics. There is now some prospect to observe Yefimov physics in condensed matter systems, as well as new many-body phases driven by the Yefimov attraction. Our paper reviews the history and the latest developments of this fascinating research area. Thank you for watching. Thank you.